Well, hey there, happy Monday to you. My name is Robert. Thanks for tuning in for this morning's Word for the Day. On Friday, I kicked off Mark chapter 5, looking at uh, the story of Jesus casting out demons from a man chained up in a cemetery. And, and, and Scripture says that immediately after the in interaction that Jesus had with this man, he got back in the boat and sailed back to the other side of the lake. And, and upon landing, he's greeted with crowds. You know, we're kind of given this picture that people are pressing in all around him, trying to talk to him, trying to get things from him. Him, you have this just chaotic sounding moment of everyone trying to get part of Jesus' attention. But there's two people that actually have an interaction there with Jesus. The first is a man named Jairus. He is a ruler of the synagogues, we're told, and in the midst of all this chaos, he manages to get Jesus' attention, and he's got a, a real big concern. His concern is his daughter. She is sick and likely on her way to death. And Jairus, he communicates just a desperation of wanting help and healing for his daughter. In the middle of Jesus interacting with Jairus and having that conversation, there's another interruption that happens. So there's this woman who was trying to go unnoticed, trying to just kind of sneak in and out of that moment in the midst of the chaos. But she had been sick for 12 years. She had been bleeding and no one could help her. No one could heal her ailment. But she had the faith to believe that if she just simply came and touched the edge of Jesus' garment, that she would be healed. And in the midst of that moment, she succeeded at getting in unnoticed and simply touched the edge of Jesus' garment. And scripture says in that very moment, she was healed. And Jesus being all knowing in that moment said, hey, I know something happened here. And so he asked the disciples who touched me and they have this reaction like Jesus, everyone is touching you. There's crowds all around. Like, how can you be serious in this moment? But he finds the woman and, and interacts with her. And he tells her this. He says, uh, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. And so in the midst of this chaotic moment, Jesus heals this woman and, and blesses her and, and tells her to go in peace and go in the, the knowledge that her disease, her problem had been healed because of her faith, because of her willingness to bring that worry, bring that problem, bring that need to Jesus. And then the story kind of turns back to Jairus, and, and while Jesus is, is talking to this woman, one of Jairus' servants comes and tells him, hey, don't bother Jesus anymore. Your daughter has died. I'm sorry to tell you it's too late. But Jesus does really well in the, the moments where we think nothing is possible. And so he says, hey, there's no need to worry. Let's go to your house still. And he tells the people there that, that the girl is not dead, but she's just asleep, it says. And scripture says they laughed at Jesus. But it says, but he put them all aside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him. And they went in where the child was. And taking her by the hand, he said, little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the girl got up and began walking. And they were immediately overcome with amazement. And he charged them that no one should know about this and they told, and gave her something to eat. Two amazing and miraculous events happened here. Two radical healings and a, and a resurrection actually happened here. And what I want us to notice here isn't necessarily you know, what Jesus did, but actually on the other side of what these individuals did. They were willing to bring their worries, their concerns, their needs even monumentous needs that maybe they had been told there is no hope, there are no options, there's nothing that can be done. The, the woman with the, the bleeding issue had been told, it says, that physicians, money had been spent for physicians and no one could help her. She probably had people tell her there's nothing that can be done. There are no options left for treatment. Jairus' daughter, they likely had gone through options with doctors and treatments and you know, what they could in that day. And even his servant there said, hey, don't bother Jesus anymore. Your daughter is dead. There's nothing else to do. But both of them demonstrated faith, saying, I'm willing to take my concern, my, my giant in life, my problem to Jesus, because I have the faith that he can do something. Where the world cannot, where I cannot, where experts cannot do anything, I know Jesus can. And I hope that today, whatever, whatever mountain you're facing, whatever thing lies in front of you that overwhelms you, that, that threatens to overcome you, I pray that you would have the faith to take that to Jesus and say, I can't do anything here, 
the world can't do anything. Experts, no amount of money can fix this problem. But God, I know you can. Would you please help me? Because when we're willing to, to operate in faith that Jesus can work in our life, he often shows up in unexpected and seemingly impossible ways and says your faith has made this possible. I hope that today your faith helps you to walk through those moments with Jesus. We'll see you next time.